ice cream after dinner? <laughs> oh yeah, gotta have that. That's where this came from. If you noticed over the last year, it's just been <laughs> tend to have grown a little bit. I've been eating ice cream, which is a no-no. Uh, and then um, back on the couch, up to the bathroom, back on the couch. I stayed on the couch other than to get up for either water, food, snack, bathroom until 11 o'clock this afternoon, or this morning. And I laid on the couch about 12.30, 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it was just, oh, I tell you, my back felt so good. Oh, man, did it feel great. I mean, it was like, wow, is this how it is? So, but eventually I got to get my ass uh, back on some type of a regiment so that I can drop a few pounds. I, I have to get out there. If I get out there for a month, you'd see a difference. Really, just I gotta get out there. And I gotta get motivated, but I can't get motivated to get out there when I got so much shit I gotta do in here. You know, and you start thinking about it. Well, your health is always first. Yeah, but sometimes we just don't think of it that way because we get all tied up with everything else. You know, so at this point, you know, I got so much I gotta get done. If I don't, mentally I'm gonna get screwed. so than what I am. <laughs> so, alright, so I'm going to let just let this sit here for now. Um, or should I put it over there in front of the fan? Aha! Uh -huh. Nah, we're okay. Uh, I got the air on in here, and I'm still sweating like a pig. Well, I only have one air going, though, and it's back there, which is the split unit, which is doing a good job, considering it's small, it's made for I don't know, five, six hundred square feet, uh, which we're not too big, but it's way back there. There's no insulation in the ceiling, so the roof is just getting hot, beaten down. The heat naturally is up there. Thankfully, the heat rises, but then we have all this shit in the way. I got a fan blowing it out this way, which helps, but it doesn't bring it around over here. It just brings it down into the uh, so-called radio room. What the hell is that? Oh my God. I'm flopping. I'm flapping. Fly away. Where the hell did that come from? Oh my goodness, I'm falling apart, guys. So, uh, I think this will come back to life. I really do. Uh, it's a possibility that it blew something, but I don't think I don't think it did. But again, these little diodes and things that I can't see, even if I can see them, they're too small for me to do anything with. Because I don't know what the hell they are, because I can't see what the values are, and I don't have a schematic on this thing. Is that supposed to be like that? I think, I think I found the problem. I just don't think I'm going to be able to fix it. Shit. That little itsy bitsy diode. I think it's still there. I don't think it fell. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. I'm going to be looking right here. There's two diodes or resistors, whatever you want to call them at this point, and below it, there's two more little ones. Well, the one on this side was twisted sideways and touching the other one, and I just touched it, and it straightened right out. 
Now, I don't know if I lost it or not, because I can't see quite that, uh, that good to see if that diode or whatever it is had fallen out or if it's still there. I don't see anything that resembles it anywhere, but it's so damn small. I may have to pull out the big one. Let me see something here. Hold on a minute. what kind of an end this had on it. Oh, this has a USB. Oh, okay. So I gotta get the adapter. Hold on. May work. I got a lot of the new USBs, but I don't have one. Is this the old one? Yeah, it is. So let's see here. Let's put this in here. Put this in here. Come on. Okay. No, oh, the camera. It's over here. <coughs> you may be able to, may not, depending on what's going on here with this thing. Okay, I'm looking. Here we are. Gotta remember this works in the reverse. Okay, now. Hello. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. And there's two of them right there. You know what? Let me see if I can put this in here. Come on, guys. I know you're looking at nothing here, but... Okay. If you're seeing what I'm seeing, uh, the light. Let's turn the light off for a minute. <coughs> Now, right here we have two resistors, diodes, whatever, I can't really tell you. And then right here, there's two more smaller ones. This one is on an angle touching that one. I just straightened it out. <clears throat> so now I'm trying to see 
if it's still there because I can't tell I just see a blob uh, and that's what I'm trying to figure out what am I looking at here so let's see if I can bring this a little closer ah it's missing so it is around here someplace it did come off You see what I'm talking about? We got the big one, a big one, a little one, and one that's missing right here. This went from here and it was laying over there. It was broke off of here. So that's what I got to find. That. I got a screwdriver here. I mean a screw. And that's what I'm touching that with. So you can tell just how small it actually is. There's a little mini screwdriver. It's hard to tell, but that is really small. I mean, it's almost unseeable without the camera. Let's see. Move it over here a little bit so maybe I can give you an idea of what I'm talking about as far as small goes. Yeah. See that little speck right there? Well, there was another little speck right there. These are the two transistors or diodes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're two different things, but I don't know what they are. Uh, this and this one. Versus that little right there, that little dab right next to it. See that little dab? So we have one, two, three, the one next to it is four. And that's a screw. So you can see just how small that actually is when it's not under magnification. Now, if I can find it, I think I can put it back on. The thing is, where the hell is it? Uh, it's got to be on here someplace, but where? That's the problem. Where? I don't think that it went bonkers, you know, and just flipped off and flew. Because it isn't that kind of a piece. I'm wondering if it's still uh, kicking around here someplace. Let's see something here. Let's take this back off here. That is going to get in my way. I'm just looking around the area to see. I mean, oh, what's that? I mean, I'm looking for something that's almost invisible at this point. Now, between those two brass-looking pieces to the left, or to the right, whether with a little circle on top, drop down to those two brass pieces. If you go off to the left, there's two dark spots like that you're looking at. Well, in those dark spots, there's two, well, there was two 
whatever you want to call them, resistors or diodes. And then next to them are two more, which are about four times the size of the two next to it. So there, the camera works in reverse on me here, so i got to kind of figure out where I'm going here. Okay, so there's the two bigger ones. Come on, come on. There's the two brass things. And right above that, are the two ones, one of them is which I'm missing, and then the two big ones that you're seeing there. And there's the two little ones. And the one of them is missing, the one off to the left. See how sensitive this thing is? It's a nice little piece to have. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.